Let's talk to Michelle and Pete about uh, what we can expect for the weather on Friday and also as we head into the holiday weekend. Michelle still working from the home office. Hopefully your Valentine is providing you with a nice warm cup of joe every time you head in and out of the house to do the weather. Yeah, right. I was going to say, I'm hoping that our long distance relationship between me and the rest of you guys at Channel 12 ends and I'll be back into the studio next week. Uh, we are looking at some quiet, cold weather. So yes, a hot cup of coffee definitely needed. It's beautiful morning out here, though. The skies are clear and the road should be in good shape. The temperatures have dipped down into the teens, even at the coastline, and we do have wind chills in the single digits. So we're going to hold on to dry skies for both today and tomorrow as we look ahead to our three key things. Temperatures are running below average. We're going to start to bring in at least a light wintry mix later Saturday night and Sunday. Not a major storm, but could contain some slippery travel conditions. Uh, and we're also concerned about more unsettled and wintry weather ahead for more days next week. That's seven days. Not too pretty, Pete. That is very true, Michelle. In fact, we've added some wintry mix to Monday as well. So next week getting very, very active. A lot to watch. We'll start with the current conditions and we are running at 10 degrees in Smithfield, 15 Providence, 14 Wesley, 18 Block Island. Our breeze is out of the northwest at 8 miles an hour in Smithfield, 8 in Providence and 14 in Newport. So those breezes have knocked down the wind chill in Smithfield to negative 2. It feels like four in Providence, two in Newport, six New Bedford, six in Westerly. Our beautiful scenes continue despite the cold temperatures. This is a look at the Newport Bridge, a little bit higher from that view we just showed you from Newport Harbor. High pressure in control today, but it's a cold high pressure. And that system that Michelle was just talking about, one of the reasons why it's not gonna be a huge snow producer is it really has trouble getting organized. It'll kind of come at us in pieces. It never really rains or snows or comes down that hard, but we are a little concerned as we just mentioned about that freezing rain risk on Sunday morning. We'll get to that in just a second. Today we'll get into the upper 20s, a few spots close to around 30, 29 Charlestown, 30 for Hope Valley. Northern Rhode Island temperatures, upper 20s to 30, 30 for West Warwick, 28 Coventry, West Greenwich. You may stay stuck in the upper 20s for the entire day. For Attleboro, Taunton, Fall River, upper 20s should do it, 30 for Seekonk, 29 Westport. Tonight, Kind of a familiar story with temperatures going back into the mid-teens, potentially some single digits outside of Providence. Let's now talk about that system on the way for Valentine's Day. So this is Saturday night. If you do have plans here, I think we're okay. This precipitation should hold off until fairly late, late at night, likely after midnight through Sunday morning. And notice how a lot of that heavier stuff is offshore. You got some sleet and snow moving in from the northwest. And at 7 o'clock in the morning, again, even though we could have an inch or so of snow accumulation, the concern would be more about some freezing rain or some icy spots. Sometimes that can be more of a concern because you don't necessarily know that it's there on the surface of the road. By Sunday afternoon, this should start to taper off, but then we're watching yet more activity for Monday. So the chance of a little bit more wintry mix on Monday afternoon. We'll be watching Tuesday very carefully, depending on how this low pressure moves through. This could be a snow accumulator. Way too early to talk about how much we could expect from that, but certainly some accumulations possible. This is a look at Valentine's Day, pretty much the morning, a coating to an inch of snow. But again, it's more about the freezing rain and some sleet leading to some slick conditions. So in that seven day forecast, we are all filled up here with rain, snow chances for a good part of the week, especially on Sunday. Then again on Tuesday, and maybe on Thursday with another potential system moving through. Michelle's been updating our weather blog about all of that. You can read that at WPRI.